At a root of a lot of the fighting that's going on between Albany and New York right now, it has to do with education. And for some time, we have profiled the fight over charter schools, particularly those housed in public school buildings in New York City. Now, the issue remains one of the flashpoints between Mayor de Blasio, who kicked three prominent charters out of public school buildings, and Governor Cuomo, who, in reaction, has seemed to become the state's biggest cheerleader when it comes to charters. And leading members of the state Senate, they've promised to reverse de Blasio's eviction as the budget process moves forward. First, Senate legislation helping charters with state aid and tax incentives for donors. It really could come any day. Assembly generally considered less enthusiastic about charters than the upper chamber. Meanwhile, there is a new debate over who should run the public school system when it comes to the city of Yonkers. Now, the state Senate passing a resolution calling for mayoral control of Yonkers schools in a matter similar to what we saw take place in New York City not long ago. But not everybody supports that idea. And, and let's start off with the charter school thing because if everybody paid attention for all the power that Bloomberg was able to wield and for all the control that he got, he lost the charter school fight here. It's not something that a mayor, I think people get a civics lesson, can just wave a wand and get his way. Albany's got to say okay, and right now there's a split decision. Not only does Albany have to approve of this, there is something called the extremely powerful United Federation of Teachers. Now, uh, those of us that went to public school like myself, we give teachers a lot of credit for what they do, but the union is adamantly against charter schools. I support them. Parents that send their kids to charter schools, as you know, Richard, support them because they feel that they get a better opportunity. And my answer always is, well, if they're not good, why are people in lotteries and, and waiting for days feeling like they've won a million dollars if their kid gets to attend the school? But the bottom line is you're dealing with entrenched interests. The UST is fighting this every step of the way, including the housing of the schools, but they have some strong supporters in Albany. How is the chamber divided on this? We, we talked about it before. The Assembly and Senate have two different ideas on what they think should shake out, right? Well, I actually think it's more nuanced than that. I was in the Senate. I was the counsel to the Senate when we negotiated the increase in the charter cap for, this, uh, for New York City. And many uh, black and Hispanic members uh, supported charter school expansion for the reasons you've described, Dominic, where they wanted alternatives to what they perceived as failing public schools in their community. The motivated parents wanted better choices in a public school system, and uh, those kinds of schools sometimes had better results. So there was a lot of support there. Then there, there was a mixed record as to how uh, they worked, totally right? There was a mixed mm -hmm. record. And then there were those who are sort of more on the progressive style who say, look, this was an experiment. We are okay with it, but most money and resources has to be with traditional public schools because that's our obligation, number one. We want to have a little experiment to see mm -hmm. some other things, fine, but money, resources, and space. And that's a big fight, right? It's not that people uh, necessarily object to the premise of charter schools. It's right. that it's coming out of the same pie, the funding. It is, and the pot is limited. At the end of the day, we have a certain amount of money we're, we are spending on public education. This is public education, but we don't want to do it at the expense of the kid whose parent is less motivated, doesn't get them on the waiting list, isn't doing the homework. That child also deserves all the resources. One thing I'd point out that I don't think is clear enough, de Blasio did allow co-location of a significant number of charters. There were only three that he denied. And in one of them, he clearly made a misstep mm -hmm. with the middle school, and they're yeah. backtracking, backtracking, going to find alternatives. But he did authorize, and I think has a f moving towards a more productive relationship with a lot of charters. There's bad blood between him and the person, Eva Moskowitz, who runs these three charters that seems to have had a factor. And we saw factor. the optics in Albany where she brought up the kids and yeah. everything else. I'm just curious because we keep playing this as another Cuomo versus de Blasio. Does anybody really think that Cuomo is this much a lover of charter schools or is this a convenient political cudgel that he can swing in an election year I'll go with B. and also show my separation from Bill de Blasio? Look at how centrist, if not right of center, I can be. Funny you, you choose the word swing. I say slap at de Blasio. Yeah. Yes, same thing. <laughs> Let's get to the question um, of who should control and who should decide when it comes to what school policies. Obviously, Yonkers school systems has historically had a lot of challenges, a lot of questions, a lot of funding problems, but somebody, the argument is somebody's got to take control, somebody's got to manage it better. 
the idea that the mayor should have mayoral control sounds good. Do you believe in the premise? Well, what I think is it needs to bubble up. You know, as the PTA in Yonkers said, it needs to come from Yonkers, not come from Albany. In, in the case of Yonkers, where we have a, a, an over $100 million gap in our school because of an error in, in uh, the budgeting, uh, seriously, an error, two years' worth of an error, the parents want the, and, uh, want the funding situation resolved, and we're working together with the governor and everybody to try to resolve it. But then they stuck in the Senate budget resolution mayoral control of the, city, of the city's public schools. And the parents say, wait a second, anyone ever talk to me? I mean, we're not adverse to it, but like in New York City, and Dominic, you'll remember this, this came out of a groundswell of, we don't like the way these community school boards, there was resentment against sort of the politics at the local yeah. level. This was an idea we were gonna clean it up, but it wasn't imposed from above, it came out from the bottom. And my position and, and my other colleagues in government who represent Yonkers, who were not consulted about this at all, and had nothing to do with it, it was put in by someone who no longer represents Yonkers, is w if there's some things we need to address, let it come up and have conversation, have hearings, do you but think don't there shove be more it down. Centralized, whether it's the mayor or somebody else, should it be more centralized? Well, though? I think on the fiscal side, you need stronger oversight. We can never have this happen again, that somebody made a budgeting error yeah. and $55 million is out the door and now it's 100 million. I think on fiscally, yes, but there's a historical value of having an independent school administrator, free of politics. Oh, there's always politics, there's politics and everything. But the idea, and Bloomberg ran into this, so you remember he tried to appoint uh, an administrator who was yeah. not qualified at all, and that was pure yeah. politics, as politics as anything goes, and he had to back out of that. So I think on the educational side, there's a very strong argument about giving it to an elected official. Um, we, um, we're going to have to break real quickly. When and, and how will this get sorted out? I don't think the mayoral control is on the table in Albany. I certainly have said from my point of view, I, I'm not, I don't think it'll pass muster. We need to fix the financial mm -hmm. thing. And then let's go when back. Have to be voted on yeah. in, when that decision have to be made in Yonkers? No, they, no they, Albany, they, Albany can they, do it The effort was to stick mm. it in and put it in the budget without any conversation by the people who represent Yonkers or the people there. I think that'll fall off the table. Let's fix the finances. We can get to that another day. When we come back, uh, we're going to be talking about a New Yorker with eyes on, obviously, the best job or the more power, most powerful job in the world. Some call it a calculated move by Hillary Clinton. Why some analysts say Hillary distances herself now from President Obama. We're going to have more on that coming up after the break.